what is going on guys welcome to today's video so today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called prison now this is a major plugin that you're gonna to want to have if you want to make a prison server it packs all the features that you need for a prison server packed in one plugin so besides that you're gonna also need vault and world edit so go ahead and download all the plugins in the description restart your server and then let's go ahead and get started and some of the main features is really cool because um, for one, it's super easy to create the mines with just one command, and then also the mines automatically reset themselves. As well, it also has auto smelt, which is like pretty much the ores automatically turn into ingots right away when you mine them. And there's also a custom built-in rank system, so a lot of really cool things. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the next thing that you want to do is you want to pull out your wand tool given by uh, world edit. So you want to type the command slash slash wand. Then you want to select two points of your mine. Your mine can be made of, of pretty much anything, but to help you guys visualize this better, I just made it stone, you know, right off the bat, that's kind of what a mine is. Make sure your mine is obviously, uh, it goes down some, because that's how mines work on prison servers. First thing you want to do is you want to select your first corner with the left click, and then you want to go diagonally across like this, and then go to the bottom corner, and then right click. Those are your two points selected. And then you want to have the command slash mines create, and then give it a name. So I'm going to call this one. All right, so one has been created. Now, the next thing, nothing has really happened. We have to go ahead and add blocks, the percentage of those blocks appearing there. So obviously you want to add stone, but you also want to add the ores, which is the most important feature. So type the slash mines, add block, and then the mine name, so one, and then the block name. So I'm gonna go with stone, and then the percentage that it appears, you know, when it starts to regenerate and automatically reset itself. All right, so 60% is what I'm gonna go with for stone. And then uh, you just keep doing the same thing, except you change the block type. So I'm gonna go with gold ore, um, fifth, no, yeah, let's go with 15%. Maybe that was a little too much, but whatever. It's just for the purpose of this video. Let's go with coal, coal ore. Let's go with, um, let's go with 15 as well, actually. All right, so now we have iron ore. Okay, and obviously this all has to add up to 100%. So if I use 16 and then 15 plus 15 is 30, we have 10% left, so iron ore, let's make it 7. Okay, <laughs> why Why did that happen? Anyways, um, go with diamond now, and then 3. Alright, so there we go. So now, once it regenerates itself and reset itself, you'll start to see that the blocks that we set start to appear. So, to make it mainly reset, we type the command slash mines, reset, and then the mine name, which is 1. We actually have to destroy some blocks to start to see them to appear. As you guys see when we type this command and hopefully, yeah, okay, see some of the ores start to reset and start to pop up there. So it's kind of like a progression type of thing. You know, eventually when they make their ways down to the mine, then uh, these new blocks will start to appear. And it's, it's, it's just awesome. It's pretty cool to have this on your server. All right, so another important feature is the config and uh, the rank system. So obviously if you want to enable or disable anything, you can go ahead and do that here. The reset time, so it takes 10 minutes. So it takes 10 minutes to reset the intervals of minutes when it'll give off a warning. So at 10 minutes, at five minutes, at one minute left, it'll give uh, this warning right here, which you can also change. Fill mode, which you want on true, whether you want fireworks to go off when people rank up, and flames on auto smelt, so you can tell if it auto smelted. Anyways, go ahead and save those settings. So for me, the ranks appear to uh, not be customizable because they're not appearing in the folder, but if they appear for you, you can go ahead and edit those. But the really cool thing is it's already custom made into the plugin itself. So your players will start to notice that they can upgrade and go up the rank system just by mining and spending time in the mine. So besides that, guys, that's it for this plugin video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.